The eighth and final race weekend for the BMW IBSF Bobsleigh and Skeleton World Cup at Segulda in Latvia. And the first action on Friday night, the women's bobsleigh. Canada's Christine de Brown and Kristen Buzhnovsky lay in fifth position after the first heat. A quarter of a second out of the lead after Buzhnovsky accidentally pulled on the brakes two corners too soon. But a good second heat gave Christine the lead with four sleds still to go. In the top four, two German athletes. Stephanie Schneider, second in points, coming in here to the absent Kaylee Humphreys and her teammate, Mary Amiamanka. Essentially, whoever finished in front would take the Crystal Globe. A good run from Schneider, creating some space between herself and Christine de Brown, and tidying up errors from the first heat, and she speared to a new track record to take the lead. The gauntlet was thrown down last year. The season opener was in Segulda. It was Yumanka's first ever World Cup win. Would she be able to do it again? Well, early in the run, she dropped back and she never quite recovered her composure. Behind her teammate, Stephanie Schneider and her great woman, Lisette Turner, in the last race were in the medals. Romania's Andrea Grecu was 300s off the lead in the first heat, tied with Yamanka, but a brand new start record, outstarting anybody in the competition, put them on the road to take the lead. A little skid, but she still had an advantage over Germany's Stephanie Schneider, and she held it to the line with a brand new track record to her credit. The final sled, last year's silver medalist Najesta Sergeva of Russia. This is the Russians' home track. They spend more time here than even in Sochi. She dropped behind early on, but recovered her composure in the fast bottom part of the track, diving for the line to claim the goal by two hundredths of a second. Her first ever World Cup win and a great end to the season for the Russian. Andrea Greco and Stephanie Schneider joined her on the podium. Schneider and Yamanka, as well as Christine de Brown, eased ahead of Kaylee Humphreys. Schneider taking her first career Crystal Globe as Najesta Segeva claimed the European Championship gold ahead of Andrea Greco and Stephanie Schneider. Saturday morning and a huge crowd at the track for the men's skeleton. Felix Keisinger of Germany, another tricky first heat in 10th position after the first run for the newly crowned junior world champion again produced a smoking second heat. And that would take him into the lead ahead of last year's winner here, Nikita Tregibov of Russia. Heisinger was incredibly still in the leader's box as we got to the top four. Alexander Tretikov, the World Cup winner last season, in fourth place, in with a shout at the medals, but mistakes crept in further down the run. A big error by Tretikov, and he would be just behind Keisinger at the line. Three to go, including two Latvian brothers. Thomas Dukors and Martins Dukors were tied for the European Championship gold medal in Samaritz in 2017. Could it happen again? First, Thomas had to beat Felix Keisinger, but he put in another near flawless run in the second heat to drive himself into the leader's box. Keisinger in second with two still to go. Thomas guaranteed a medal. Sumbin Jung of Korea was in the bronze medal position in the race here last year. He was in silver after the first heat. Could Ironman take the victory away from the Dukors brothers? He dropped behind Thomas halfway down the run and never recovered. In silver medal position guaranteed Thomas Dukors. Jung again, perhaps in the bronze. Lavia's Martins Dukors, the World Cup points leader, had already substantially lowered the track record in the first heat, and he crushed it in the second. A searing start and a blistering run. The first man ever to break the 50-second margin on the track. A new track record and a family 1-2. His 54th career win, his 11th consecutive European Championship, and his 10th Crystal Globe his first ever senior win on his home ice in Segulda. A huge day for Martin Stukors, the World Cup Championship title, and with it, the European Championship gold as well. 
for the 11th consecutive season with brother Thomas in the silver medal, Felix Keisinger taking bronze. Saturday evening for the first of two two-man races this weekend. Second heat and Brad Hall of Great Britain in with a great opportunity to move up the order. Tied for ninth place with local boy Ralph Berchins. The British sled initially dropped back but then found superb speed in the final corner to spear ahead at the line. Hall had moved up two spots by the time he got to the sixth fastest man in heat one, Rostislav Gajtukovic, the Russian rookie. On his two-man World Cup debut, he looked a little rocky early on, but on the track that the Russians know so well, squeezed just in front. Next up, Justin Cripps, who had just two hundreds over the rookie from the first heat after a fifth fastest run. He too dropped behind early on, but found pace at the line to just dip in front. Four sleds to go, and in a development BTC sled, Yun Jong Won felt it get away from him, crashing out in turn 14. Seaman Friedley next to go, and with one hand on a medal, crashed out of a potential third place finish. Two sleds remain. Oscars Kibermanis took two silver medals here last year behind Francesco Frigi, the first round leader, but a shattering start record for him and brakeman Martis Mitnis set him on the trail to take the lead away from Justin Cripps and potentially head for gold. Standing in his way though, Francesco Friedrich, last year's double race winner here in the two-man weekend. 100th in front after the first heat, but they started a tenth slower and a rocky run down from Francesco Friedrich left him struggling for pace. Could he find it at the line? He did not. A first ever World Cup win in two-man for Oscars Kibermanis and he took it on his home track in Latvia. Second place though, enough for Francesco Friedrich to guarantee he would be the World Cup champion and he now cannot be caught in the final race of the series. The battle for second is on between Kibermanis and Cripps, but the Crystal Globe goes again to Francesco Friedrich. Final day of the World Cup season for women's skeleton. Kim Malmans of Belgium in eighth place after the first heat, ahead of Jacqueline Lerling of Germany. Lerling needing a top seven finish to guarantee the Crystal Globe. But like Kim Boss of the Netherlands, Kim Malmans setting down an absolutely smoking run to leave the World Cup leader trailing in her wake and needing a bit of a miracle. Malmans was still in the lead as the former start record holder Yulia Kanakina of Russia came to the line. Kanakina was fifth in the first heat and this is Russia's home test track, but it all slipped away a little down the run. She stayed in front of the Belgian girl, but would she be able to move up into the points? Marina Gilardoni of Switzerland was fourth after the first heat. With a 5-10 start, she eclipsed that with a second run and drove herself into the lead down at the bottom of the track. Another absolutely sparkling run from the Swiss driver and the second fastest trip down the track in history to take the lead. She tied the first round start record. With three to go, Tina Herman and Janine Flock were battling Jacqueline Lerling for the Crystal Globe, but the crash from Herman would see her drop out of contention. Janine Flock, in silver medal position after the first heat, would be tied with Jacqueline Lerling for the Crystal Globe. But she dropped behind Marina Gilardoni and never found the pace to retake the lead. Gilardoni guaranteed at least a silver. The Crystal Globe now going to Lerling. So one story remained. Could Elena Nikitina tie up the gold? Well, she started with another new start record. Didn't break her track record, but she still raced to victory to claim a second win here in Segulda and the European Championship for the third time in her career. Elena Nikitina, Marina Gilardoni and Janine Flock the podium in the final World Cup race. Jacqueline Lerling taking the Crystal Globe. Tina Herman crashing out of the top three. 
and the European Championship gold medal hanging around the neck of Russia's Elena Nikitina ahead of Marina Gilardoni and Janine Flock. Final race, the battle for the European Championships in the two-man. Sixth on his return to World Cup action, Olympic champion Oscars Melbardis, a day after receiving his four-man Sochi gold, driving himself into a top six run on his home track, his first World Cup race since January 2018. Justin Cripps of Canada with Sam Giguere behind him, fifth place after first heat, as Cripps had been the day before. He took the lead away from Melbardis, putting himself in with another great finish. Cripps kept the speed up all the way to the line, and Melbardis was out of the leader's box almost before he'd got in there. Cripps was still in the leader's box, though, as we got to Christoph Harfer of Germany, third after the first heat. The bronze medalist in race two here last year, his debut in the World Cup, he was in the bronze medal position after the first run, but dropped behind. Cripps again in the medals. Second after the first heat, Seaman Friedley. The Swiss crashed out of third in the first two-man race of the weekend. In only his third World Cup, though, he held his nerve and his speed, putting 67-time World Cup starter Justin Cripps behind him. An astonishing drive from the young man from Switzerland who's only been behind the D-rings for two years. And so it came to the final sled of the season. Oscar Kibermanis of Latvia with Marcus Miklis behind him, won gold in the first day's race, his first ever two-man gold medal, and he doubled up in day two. Gold again, this time missing out on the track record, but claiming the European Championship. A double race-winning weekend for Latvia and for Oscar Kibermanis with Seaman Friedley an astonishing second and Justin Cripps again in the bronze medal position. Francesco Frutic, the World Cup champion, Kiba Manis ahead of Cripps, second and third. And the European Championship title going to Oscars Kiba Manis and Matis Miknis, Friedley and Gregory Jones in second, and Christoph Harfer and Christian Hummers taking the bronze medal.